Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Castlevania Let's Play, and as you can see, it's Castlevania 2, uh, Simon's Quest. Step into the shadows of the hell, of the hell house, you've arrived back there in Castlevania on a business, uh, pff, I can read that. So yes, we're doing Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, I'm actually really excited for this, um, even though I can't guarantee, oh, it's one of these where you have to press select to move that, okay, even though I'm not entirely sure that we are actually going to finish the game. Uh, but, uh, I'm gonna play it for a while now and see just how far I can get. And, so yeah, I, I mentioned this during the Castlevania 1 uh, Let's Play that I did, that this was actually the only Castlevania game that I ever played. Uh, well, this is the only Castlevania game I've ever played on any uh, Nintendo platform, so uh, I got 50 hearts. And I'm about to lose them all because I'm gonna buy a white crystal. But uh, the first thing that unfortunately I'm going to have to do is go grinding a little bit. Um, because I need to get another 50 hearts. So, ah, uh, there's the werewolf. I love the werewolf, I think it's cute. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is really the only Castlevania game that I've played on any of the proper uh, uh, console for. Uh, so, really, um, just like any NES game that I don't still own a physical copy of, uh, that I haven't bought as an adult, uh, this was one of those games that we didn't own, but my dad borrowed from the store where he used to sell them in. He actually, uh, still works or runs that store. Okay, good, I can kill the fishmen. The, I can kill the, uh, gillmen, I suppose is the proper name for these. Uh, I can kill the Gilman uh, ooh, just by jumping. Oh no! Okay, this is gonna be bad. Ooh. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, that that that's where I'm trying to get the holy water. Uh, the holy water is not absolutely necessary for beating the game, but it does help. Of course, this game has a day to night cycle, which is also cool because um. Uh, this was the first time I uh, ever, ever saw this. So yeah, so we didn't own this game, so we just borrowed it from our dad's store when we were little. And uh, I knew, of course, about... Um, and here we have the first night. Uh, what a horrible night to have a curse. I hope it will get day. I'm gonna... I, I hope it'll, it'll get tur turned into day by the time we get to the other village, so that's what I'm basically gonna do. Just because I want it to be, and now it's the skeletons take two hits to kill. Uh, basically, I just wanna grind for hearts. Actually, I almost have enough. Oh yeah, the, the, for the stuff like this, the holy water would be really nice to have, but I don't have it right now. But it's generally kind of useful item, uh, especially when you go into the mansions. I call them dungeons in the uh, when I was playing Castlevania, and here actually is the first dungeon, and I could technically go in there, but I really, really want the holy water. Um, oh, and these are the gray skeletons, so they're... Uh, so every time the skeletons change color, they get slightly tougher. The blue skeletons are the weakest, and the gray, these gray ones are kind of uh, the second weakest. And they're, oh yeah, they would take normally two hits, but it's nighttime, so monsters take twice as many hits to kill during nighttime. Which I thought, that, I thought that was a really cool mechanic in this game, and uh... Yeah, I've, I've always had a very high opinion of this game, even though it's rather, it's considered rather notorious. Actually, I think I'm gonna turn back because uh, I don't want to deal with the spiders at nighttime. I could basically, I could have, uh, I could have been grinding for hearts in the town as well. Uh, with the zombies, but uh, I, I thought that would be kind of boring for you to watch. Yeah, this this beginning part is going to be kind of boring, and then it's going to pick up, luckily. So, during the Castlevania Let's Play, I said that um, I'd beaten the four, uh, the three out of four mansions uh, or dungeons, and uh, it turns out I was uh, wrong, that I've actually beaten probably more uh, dungeons, but I was but I was wrong about how many dungeons there were. For some reason, I thought that there were. Uh, for some reason, I thought that there were only uh, four, but there's actually five, and then Dracula's Castle, which is separate. Yeah. 
And that goop, by the way, there uh, is poisonous swamp water, which will start poisoning me if I just have to walk. There's poisonous swamp water uh, left of the town from where we started at. I don't know the names of the towns. Uh, but we, we're gonna have to go across there. <laughs> it's one of the really kind of bullshit parts about this game is that you have to take damage to, to track through it. But this game isn't really like that hard because you can't really game over it. Well, you can, but your only punishment is that you lose all your hearts. So the trick with this game is just, is not that, uh, that there's like obstacles stopping you. Well, there are obstacles stopping you, but the real challenge of this game is that you have to um, play through the whole game in under three hours to get the best ending. So there's three different endings to this game. And the longer you take, the worse the ending will be. And so, uh, if you're wondering, is this ki game kind of a precursor to the Metroidvanias? In a way it is! There is kind of an overworld where you ha have to go back and forth. I think it's a little bit more linear than the Castle, than the, than the Metroidvanias, but... And the Metroidvanias, the thing about those is that they're all always, uh, uh, take place inside the castles. So, whereas this, there's actually, you, you actually traverse Transylvania, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, I had already, like, seen Captain N. Okay, good, the morning the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. We can go back and get the, uh, get the, get the, uh, holy water. And I actually, I think I've racked up quite a lot of hearts. Yeah, 72. If I can get a little bit more, I can actually get the, uh, chain whip. And the chain whip's really good because it'll kill the monsters more faster. They're not too bad yet, but, uh, the further you get in the game, there's a... There's a certain number of whips that you can get as the game goes on. Here we are in the village again. So yeah, if you lose all your lives, you lose all your hearts. And it's not too bad, except if you're trying to rack up hearts to buy stuff. So you kind of want to, you know, weigh when is, it, when is it okay. At some point it's okay to just kill yourself if you're just low on health and you have no way. So uh, no way of, um, you know... If you, if, you, if you know that you're gonna die and lose all your hearts, then it's good to do it at a point where you've already bought everything you do, because you don't lose these items, so here we have the... Actually, I... I yeah. So, we don't have to go all the way through the forest yet, but we can go to the, um... The first mansion, yeah. So I did a little dry run before this... Uh, sorry, I never finished the story, so... Uh, we borrowed this from my dad's store, and I think already, like, uh, had already read about this game. There was a... Uh, we didn't have Nintendo Power in Europe, I've done a, done a video about it, we only had the Nintendo newsletter thing of a bob. But there was something called, uh, Video Game Atlas, which I remember we had a copy of at our local library, and I remember reading about this game, reading about Mega Man... Uh, I think two and three possibly, uh, and it had like maps and like you know of all the levels. Like it had the level laid out for you. So I remember I must have read it from there because I, as a kid, I remember actually figuring out that crystal puzzle. Well, not figuring out. I probably read it from the magazine. Oop, well, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Okay. Generally speaking, I, I'm playing this on the Wii again, just in case you were wondering. So I don't have this on the NES. So I'm playing this on the Wii, and the Wii is really good. Like, the Wii controller is, like, perfect for NES games. But I, I did notice it with that last episode, and this episode, and I, when I did the dry run before I did this recording, that th there's something going on with the D-pad. Like, for some reason, it... Oh, okay, good. Wait a minute, is this where I get it? Okay, so there's these... Yeah, no, this is not it. So there's hidden walls. Do you sell this chain whip? No, this guy's selling the dagger. I don't want the dagger. Wait a minute, do I have... Oh, shit, and no, I don't have enough hearts for the chain whip. So, hmm. Should I go to the forest and gr grind some more? How many lives do I have? I have zero lives. <laughs> Maybe not a... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get healed up. Ah, but then it's gonna be nighttime, isn't it? Shit. I just remember that you need a lot of hearts to get the chain whip. 
Okay, let's see. If I can get 150 hearts, get the chain whip, and get out. Um. Uh, before nightfall, then I'll get it. If I don't, then you know, forget about it. But I really should get the better whip because uh, it gets progressive. The dun dun dungeons do get progressively harder, and I don't need need too many. Ugh. Skeleton beat me to it. Okay, 90. Come on. Ah, jeez. That wasn't too good. I need a better spot for grinding. Okay, maybe these two skeletons. Ah, but I have to go off screen. Oh, that was confusing, yeah. There's a little bit of a lag. There's a bit of a lag. Yeah. Ah, they're not giving me any hearts. Jesus. So I'd already seen, like, Captain N, so... I knew this guy was supposed... So I kind of knew who Simon Belmont was. But I had not played the games at all, so I didn't, uh... So I didn't notice immediately, like, that he's red and not blue. Ah, shit. Man. Well, now I could go to the village to grind, but... A hundred... Ugh, I'm so close, too. But now there's the zombies in the village. Okay, sorry, I'll... Whoa, whoa, what happened? Okay, I got an extra life. So I guess every time you get a hundred hearts, you get an extra life. Okay, that happened to me the other t <laughs> during the dry run. So yeah, during the dry run to this, I did it as a practice run for this. I was able to actually beat four of the uh, mansions. Oh, but this is the shitty yeah, this is the shitty uh, castle. I mean, shitty town. Yeah, there's these birds flying around. And I hate those birds. Okay, I'm not gonna have waste my time on those birds. I'm just gonna keep killing these skeletons until I get the, uh, until I get the whip. Oh god, I'm not gonna make it. Nope. Okay, I'm not gonna take damage to this. Uh, come on. Oh, not now it's playing. I think this is Monster Dance. I might be wrong. Ooh, that's a big heart. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but those are the big hearts, the halves. I think they're worth like five. So yeah, this is, this is, okay, th this is m very much like a Metroidvania in more ways than one. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that, that's a some bullshit. I run into that skeleton every fucking time I go this way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is actually a good spot. The, the problem with the zombies in town is that there's certain spots where they appear a lot, and then there are other spots where they barely, like, appear. The other thing about the towns is that you gotta be careful around the water because you can accidentally kill yourself in the town. I think that was a load of bullshit. I don't know what, why they left that in, in the game. Oh! No, no, still got, still need a couple of hearts more. Come on. Come on, give me the hearts. Give me the hearts, man. So yeah, you can see that they kind of went in a completely different style from the first Castlevania, you know, which was a more traditional A to B uh, platformer. And this is, I would consider this actually more of, there, there, there are still like kind of platforming parts in this, mostly in the dungeons, but I would actually consider this already like a full-fledged action-adventure game. So yeah, so, and this is kind of the tragedy with this game then, of course, ugh. That, you know, Konami had these big, big ideas for games like this. And that they weren't able to really pull them off successfully. Like the TMNT game is kind of similar in that way. I talked about that. Oh god, here come the zombie zombies. Oof. I should probably just jump over them. Oh no, not fucking bird! Okay, I gotta make, it, make my way up there before that zombie comes back. 
They take four hits. Man. Alright, I'm just gonna stand here and wait for a while now. Sorry, sorry for this riveting gameplay that you're having to witness me stand around. Well, anyway, um, oh yeah, by the way, the holy water doesn't make the little flame anymore, but the... But the bone-chucking skeletons in this game, they do leave a little fire behind. So you can accidentally hurt yourself with that. Which I also think is bullshit. <laughs> oh, dear. I was hoping that with the grinding going back and forth, I would have been able to, like... Okay, good, we didn't have to wait that long. Yeah, I'm hoping not to get too much dead air. So I don't know if we are going to beat this game in, in, a, you know, in one sitting. I would guess not. So here the floor gives way. Oh, yeah, um, nice. I think that, uh, yeah, I hope this guy gives me the chain whip. Yes, give me that shit, yeah! Uh, <laughs> yeah, I already bought your whip. Okay, and now it looks pretty fucking pimpin'. Yeah, I love the chain whip. There's also a thorn whip, uh, between this and the normal leather whip, but, um, yeah, it's not worth getting. It's not worth wasting your money on it. Okay, finally to the first dungeon. Sorry, it took me a while. <laughs> and, yeah, the villagers, I'm not stopping to talk to them, but the villagers, of course, uh, that was a weird intentional design thing with this game, is that they intentionally had the villagers give you bad advice to trick you, and... I don't know what, 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 what it was up with Konami. They thought that was a good idea to do for some reason. I mean, Konami, to give them full credit, like, you know, these days their reputation is not very good. F for a good reason, though, you know. They're kind of like, when you treat your employees like shit, you know, you, you get it. You're, you're getting what you deserve. But, um... But, but they did have, like, very, like, groundbreaking ideas about games, and really, the... I don't even think this game's that bad. I think this game's, like, badness has been proliferated... Pro pro no, 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 that's not the word I mean. <laughs> I think I said something... People people have made a bigger deal out of this game being bad... Ba bad... I mean, yeah, no, I, I... Of course, I would much prefer to play... Oh, God. Okay, that, that was my fuck-up. <laughs> yeah, of course I would ra much rather play, like, Castlevania 1, and maybe even 3, than this. But this is the only one I have any childhood memories attached to, so, yeah. Yeah, out of sheer nostalgia, I still would like... I still like this game. I love the music, too. Yeah, either... So, okay, now the theme that's playing... Oh, this, I, I keep forgetting to talk about it. So, the... The theme that plays in the forest is Bloody Tears, and that's one of my favorite themes. Sorry, I keep talking over it, but it's, it's just, you know... You know, it's, it's just the uh, regular background stage theme in this. Oh yeah, I do need hearts, because uh, you have to buy a stake in each of the mansions. So, in case you haven't watched, like, the ABGNs or whatever, of the, uh, talk about this game, then you should probably... You should probably know already that the... The premise of this sequel, and I think it's actually kind of a cool premise, is that Dracula was defeated, but he, in his, with his dying breath, he curses Simon, and Simon has to undo Dracula's curse, which is, ironically, the name of the third game and not this one. There's a guy who's gonna sell me the steak. Yeah, see, the bones, that little flame will hurt me if I walk into it. So, uh, so... Uh, Dracula's minions have collected Drac's body bar parts, and they've left them all over the place. And Simon has to gather them together and destroy Dracula. By the way, over there to the right is where the first body part is. I don't remember which one it is. Maybe it's the rib. If it's the rib, that's actually good because it uh, blocks projectiles. So, Simon's been cursed, and Simon has to lift the curse by, uh, d by getting the body parts together and killing Dracula at the end. And we get the stake. This I do like. I, I've gone on record saying that I'm not a big fan of vampire lore, but I do have to say that they actually went all the way with this. You can even like buy garlic and shit in this. I don't remember what you need the garlic for. Uh, I probably never played long enough, you know, far enough into the game to actually find out. Oh, and luckily I had enough money, by the way. I didn't even think about it at all. So yeah, you do have to gather like 50 hearts, 
Ooh, I have to be careful. There's a Trixie Dixie floor here. Yeah, there's a Trixie floor. Okay, you don't necessarily need the holy water. Like, the skeletons will turn around if, if the floor is, you know, if it's a fake floor. Okay, here we go. And now I actually do have to switch the item. And... Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now you possess Dracula's rib. All right. So, actually, I want to switch this to this. Okay. So now you can see he's holding the rib in front of him. And actually, even from this angle, it lo looks more like a shield than a rib. <laughs> and now that Trixie Dixie floor, I actually do want to fall through it, because this is the way to the exit. So the actually, these mansions, these mansions aren't even, like, that bad. Oof. They're actually, like, intentionally designed to be kind of circular. Okay, there's a hole. Okay. Oh, no, there's a hole. Fucking that demon guy. I hate these demon guys. There's and they they get different variants later in the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing about the water. I see the water there and I immediately get a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of anxiety over it, but the thing is like that is an old video game uh, thing that has never made sense to me. Like so many, so many like old video game characters just don't know how to swim. Like even in Mario 1. Which, by the way, tell me if you want to see me Let's Play Mario 1. I totally will if you if you tell me to. I am your puppet! I am the, your clown here for your amusement! And you see, these now these gray skeletons can't, don't stand a chance. Yeah, there's two kinds of bats. There's these bats that just fly up and down uh, forward, and then there's the ones that actually fly all over the place. But they're in the mansions, luckily. But they are—they are a little annoying. Actually, I think the most annoying enemy in this game is probably the uh, the goops, the the blob thingies. I don't know. I don't even know what they're called. The things that hop around. We saw a little bit of them there, but luckily they were in the, in that first mansion. They're not as annoying. Oh God! Here are the eyeballs. Ugh. I hate those eyeballs. I have a thing about like eyeballs and people getting like damaged uh, damaged eyes in in like. Uh, in anything, in any movie or television show, anything, I, I just wince in instantly. It's something like, I don't like that. I'm sure I'm not alone on that. Spiders, on the other hand, I've said, I've actually already said in the Resident Evil uh, Let's Play that I did a while, a while ago that I'm actually I'm not a, I don't mind spiders so much. I think spiders are actually kind of cute. And they get rid of uh, pests. Ooh. Of course, I get that in other countries, spiders are m m sm smidge more dangerous. Okay, by the way, those stairs take me down to the next mansion, but we need a blue crystal first, so I have to get to the next town. And there's a dude there who will change, uh, exchange it for uh, the blue crystal, and I later have to exchange the blue crystal for a red one. So we can do the... Uh, Oh yeah, that propeller thing as well. Like, I even managed to do that when I was a kid. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it was all because of the that video game atlas that I had. Uh, maybe I, I I I don't think I was like particularly good at this game or anything. But and you don't have to be. Like I said, the only when you die, you st you continue immediately from where you left off. Um, oh yeah, this was also this was also the first of the Castlevanias, I think that was on the disk drive. So, actually that's a cool thing to do if, you, if, you ever, if you're on YouTube. Go listen to the uh, original Japanese uh, soundtrack to this game. I, like, I do prefer the NES one, I'm gonna be totally honest, but it, because uh, the disk drive had a better sound synthesizer, it sounds kinda cool. Okay, so these gray guys are the guys who exchanged the crystals, and And uh, later on, I have to exchange the. Ooh, it's night time. Shit. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter now. Now we can make, make a. We can just go straight to the mansion. We don't have to stop to buy anything here. I think this is the town. So yeah, there's the uh, the crystal turned blue. Oh yeah, this yeah the chain whip just kills these guys way faster. <laughs> Okay, another pro tip. If it's a platform in a town, you might want to jump off of it. 
Okay, it wasn't like directly under there, but I've managed to once kill myself. That zombie took three hits, what the fuck? Oh yeah, and you can't enter the, any of the doors during nighttime, I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah, that water looks so inviting, doesn't it? Don't go anywhere near it, because it'll fucking kill you. Instantly. That's actually kind of a bullshit thing. I like the first Assassin's Creed, it's the only Assassin's Creed I like. I know I'm a weirdo, but uh, but even there, there when you fall into the water, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, Altair? <laughs> I just like the main character, I just like the setting. For some reason, I, I like the Crusades setting of that game. Maybe because there just aren't a lot of games that are set in that, like, period in that part of the world. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, tell me if there are other games that are set um, during the Third Crusade? Wait. Lionheart 3rd or 1st? Oh shit. That reminds me of a funny thing. Um, king Richard Lionheart, of course, you know, the King of England and whatever. But he was actually French, and I don't think he ever actually even went to England. So... So, he was a king who never saw the land he was ruling. Um, but he was like, you know, he was this insanely well-known military commander. Okay, now you have to do this where you <coughs> select this gem and you lean down. Yeah. That is some cryptic video game shit. I actually just recently fell victim to it myself because I was playing the... Um, uh, my sister Minna and her boy boyfriend have a PlayStation 4 and they have the Disney Afternoon collection for it. Um, and, I, and I and I got duped in DuckTales in the Transylvania level because I forgot that... Wait a minute. Was this the... Hmm. Okay, I'll go up here. But I might be... It might be that I don't actually have to go this way. One of these dungeons, I remember, one of these mangers is kind of stupid that... Uh, wait, I think this is... I think this is the dungeon. I'll go down there because I think you can make you can you can actually get all the way to the finish line just by going straight. Like you can go up there, but I don't think there's anything you need up there. Oh yeah, I think this is it. Oh no! Ooh! Yeah, this this whole fucking thing is. <laughs> so you can go up there, and there's a whole sec. There is a whole like dungeon full of like baddies and things. You can get up there, but not. But none of it is necessary. Oh, I hate this part. Yeah, the thing. The problem is, my whip is like now uh, way better, but my holy water still only does the same amount of damage as my uh, leather whip. There is a whole thing you can do up there, and th none of it is at all necessary. Oh wait, is the yeah the guy who sells the steaks is over there? Ooh, I got a whole lot of hearts. Shit. Okay. Now that's such a stupid stage design. Like that that had to be intentional. I think Konami just want this this whole man just like a just. A, Big troll. Give me that steak, baby. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, well, no matter. Yep. Yep. Especially like if when when you're playing this game for the first time, it is really easy to die by accident to a lot of things, so. I think actually that's a really good design in this game, that you don't lose any of your items and shit if you die. This game is actually way more modern than you would think, because this is basically how most games are now. When you die, you just continue straight from where you were. No consequences. Yeah. I think I will game over eventually. Unless I get another... Well, yeah, I only need, like... Uh, what is it? I only need 26 more hearts. I'll get another one up. <laughs> that was so funny to me because we call them uh, in Finnish, which 
so, sounds weird. It doesn't, doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. But in Finnish, we actually did call them ups uh, when we were kids because it said up, which is weird because you know it doesn't actually mean anything. It just means you know a direction. We did say lives as well. We did say lives as well. So we weren't just saying ups, but that was that was the whole joke. We said ups, and that's the thing. Like. Uh, Like, that confused the fuck out of me as a child, because start, you, you start to pause in, like, every friggin' game on the NES. But it actually means, like, to begin. So, that also confused me as a child. By the way, we already have the, uh, second body part. Dracula's heart. Oh yeah, and this is totally what we need for the, uh, to get into the third mansion. So it's the fairy man, if we, when we let, because now we have to go, uh, left, or... East, I suppose. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's called the eastern part, but it confuses me because it's on the left. So I would want to say it's in the western part, but uh, all the walkthroughs that I I did consult a walkthrough, just kind of to see like how much uh, how much cryptic shit was there for me to. Oh yeah, now the ball. <laughs> now the orb just just respawns for no reason. I think there is also a big heart you can get. Oof! Yeah. It would be kind of funny if I did get another 1-up. Oh yeah, but yeah, we're gonna need a shitload of hearts for the final whip. I need, I need like 200. Ugh. I don't feel like... Ugh. I don't feel like losing any of these hearts now. Oh boy, gotta learn what Yoda... Gotta remember what Yoda taught us. Let go of the things you have fear to lose. Well, no skin off my... Lost them all. Okay. Oh, is this the platform I was thinking of? Because I think there's water directly beneath me. Yes, it is. Fuck. Should've... Should've looked before I leaped. But I didn't! Oh, I'm such a dummy! Okay, this is a tricky jump. You really gotta be on the edge there, or you'll just hit the wall and fall into the water. <laughs> yeah, there are, like, weirdly precise moments of, like, it, it, this game is, like, more forgiving than people... This game is actually more forgiving than people give it credit for, but then it does, like, dupe you in a few places. And it's night time. Night time's the right time, but uh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We don't even have to stop in the other, uh, mansion. The, the other, the town beyond the one we're going to. Oh, I, I always forget how close that ceiling is, actually. Yeah, the thing I don't, the other thing I don't like about the Metroidvanias, I probably should have, like, um, uh, <laughs> Clarified a little bit about Symphony of the Night and what I specifically like what I didn't like about it when I started out because I didn't play very far. I, I will admit that I didn't play very far into it, so maybe it's one of those games that it does get better the further you get into it. But like, I managed to kill myself like very early in the game, and then like because it's emulated from you know it's not it wasn't like a we I think we played it on the list PS4. But we didn't like, uh, it wasn't like a remaster or anything, it was just literally the old game running off some like emulation software. So, of course, the load times are just as long on it uh, as they would have been on the original PlayStation. So, and that's probably like the only thing. Like, I actually don't mind the first PlayStation. I'm generally not a big, big into the Sony systems or, you know, PlayStation in general. But the only bad thing I, but I like the first. PlayStation. I like the first PlayStation. Ga the games on the first PlayStation, but the one, but the most bullshit thing about them are the load times. They are atrocious. I was already morning. I don't even have to. I don't even have to waste my time. Sorry about that. Uh, I was trying to pause because I needed a drink of water. But going on for like. Alright, half an hour 
Within a half an hour, we've already been to of the of the mansions. Yeah, so that pur purple gunk you see there, we're gonna have to like cross a big stretch of it in a minute. I was trying to look up if there was. Well, maybe I wasn't looking hard enough. Maybe there is a way to more smart way to do it, but it's weird because it does look intentionally like that. That you're supposed to trend, you know, go through it with nothing really protecting you. How you do, Gilman? How you do? I love the aesthetics. I think this game is beautiful, honestly. Some of the color schemes do get a little weird. Like, I did hit a section of this game that I didn't, didn't get past because I didn't get the final whip. Uh, oh yeah, that's the thing. Like, you do have to get the final whip before you, you use the red crystal. And if you don't, that's bad. Because I hit a, like, a section where like the enemies had gotten like crazy super strong. And I realized like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna like get past this point. Get 60 hearts now. Should I? Hmm. Well, if I make it there by daytime, I'll get. I'll, I'll try to get. Uh, I'll try to get some hearts, but I'm, I'm going straight to the dungeon, though. Hey. This game reminds me a little bit of uh, Zelda 2, of course, with the, uh, you know, the churches where, where you get healed and everything. I <laughs> just... You know what it is about these werewolves that I think that I like so much? I think because they remind me of, like, old shitty, like, rubbery uh, action figurines. <laughs> I used to have a lot of those. Oh, maybe I should tell, say a little bit about the TMNT toys that I had growing up. I didn't have... Many, me and my sister, Mima, we both got one when we were very little. Uh, and it w they were the traditional style uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they were the weird type where that they already had like the weird accessories. So, um, uh, one of them, uh, my sister got Raphael and I got Michelangelo, weirdly enough, because actually uh, Mima likes Michelangelo. Uh, Michelangelo is like Mima's favorite, obviously. Oh god, I hope there are there is a stairwell. Yeah, there was a stairwell. Okay. I love this town music, by the way. Yeah, that's another reason why I like the music so much, because on Captain N they always used the music from this game when when they were using Simon's music. Here the the thing with the two heads. I don't know what the hell they are. Moment but you ah. There's the dog. Actually it looks more like a fox. Okay, and here's that purple sludge, and there's the mudman. Yeah, that's the, that's what the rib does. I, I the thing is, like, I want to jump so badly, but I actually make less progress if I jump. Okay, almost dead. Only need a little bit more. Okay, here's the ferryman, and normally he just takes me over to the village where I would, um, in fact, get the final whip. No, not the final whip, but let me show you the way. So normally he says, uh, oh, I'll take you to a good place, heh <laughs> heh, and these killmen don't do anything. However, this is, and this is how you know you've gone to a different place, because he changed color. Oh, and of course it sh should be night time for this. Perfect. Let's break for a little bit. So welcome back uh, from the break. Uh, don't know how necessary that was, uh, but I just wanted to make sure that the recordings were going well. Ooh! Immediately killed myself on the spikes. Okay, this guy has to be one of the harder beginnings. Although, what am I to say? Okay, is this the Trixie Dixie one where uh, there's like... This might be, actually. This is either the Trixie Dixie one, or this is the one with the Grim Reaper. 
Everything's very purple. This might be the Grim Reaper one, though. So, I don't know. Wait a minute. Oh, I got a hundred. Oy! That spear guy's gonna get me. <laughs> yeah, those blob things, I hate those. Those are my the bane of my existence. Wait a minute, is this the, uh... It looks very intentional, so I'm wondering. No, there's nothing here. I thought that was the Trixie Dixie wall, but no. Maybe this is just the Reaper, Reaper's Domain. I call it the Reaper's Domain because of, I think, because of Dragon's Lair. But it's not actually called that. I'm still, like, paranoid about the Trixie Dixie floors. That's why I keep throwing the holy water around. Oh, jeez. Okay. There's, a, there's the uh, one castle that has uh, the guy who sells you the steak is in this, like, this big black room. And the only way you can get in there is through like an invisible wall. Or a, not an invisible wall. Invisible door is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go this way. I'm not really sure. I hate those demon guys. They're... Speak of the devil. Oh, you know what? I'm beginning to think this is the Trixie Dixie place. Unless this is the other one. Oi, 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 oi. Oh no! He's right there. Okay, so this has to be the... This is the Reaper. This has to be the Reaper castle then. Because the salesman is right there. Yeah, this is taking time consuming, but I am not gonna risk it. Oh god. Yeah, the platforming... This is what I was talking about. The platforming is sometimes, like, crazy precise. Okay. And I think I'm supposed to go down, so... Come on. No, yeah. That's exactly what I was worried about. <coughs> One life left. Oy. Sorry, I'm coughing a lot because I've been talking for almost like an... Well, not an hour straight yet, but like over half an hour straight. I really, uh, yeah. Oosh. But I like this. I, I, I genuinely like this game. So, you know. I think they could have done a better job with it. I think a lot of people, oh yeah, this is very Mega Man. Oh, here are the shitty bats. I hate these bats. And there's the Reaper. And you just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep walking, and you're safe! <laughs> yeah, that's so stupid. This is like a nice leisurely game, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose, you know, they could have done something a little better with it. But I know, I get a warm, cuddly feeling. Oh, by the way, the Hank Skeletons. Super creepy over there. I remember how this guy is usually such a pain in the ass. It's like one of only three bosses you fight in this game, and it's the, and only two of them even like you know put up a fight. Like Dracula, of course, doesn't even put up a fight; he just stands there. I I don't know. Maybe he shoots fireballs. It's been a while. I don't remember if I've ever watched anybody actually beat this game. I'm trying to see if there's a shortcut. Oh god, yeah. This fucking spear asshole. Yeah, no, I can't. Because some of the blocks, of course, like like I showed in the uh, town, some of the blocks can be like just uh, broken with the holy water. Oh, Jesus. Fucking douche. Lost all my hearts. Well, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to. Yeah. Is there anything up here? Nope. Nope. Just a dead end. Dead end. Ooh. Jesus, I forgot about you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, I, I didn't mean to go downstairs. Yeah, these demon guys are really annoying. Okay, so now... Now... Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what that inflection was. <laughs> now, I really need like a... Ugh, I really need a lot of hearts if I want to get that like really good a whip. I don't need anything to... I don't need any money for uh, the crystal. The crystal is like... Ooh, what? What? Okay. Oh! There was a shortcut. Which is <laughs> a shortcut that almost brought me in front of the skeleton, but it's okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, game designers. <laughs> hey. I hope this is safe. It was. It was. Yeah, there's a. There's like a dark green ones outdoors a bit later. Uh, uh, those are like the most annoying blobs. Oof. <laughs> no. Oh no, God! How many lives did I have left? Two. Two. So yeah, the spikes aren't insta death, but they do take up. Obviously, they take damage uh, from you, or they do damage do to you. Oh, Jesus! I'm way, way. I do, I have like nowhere near enough for the uh, for the good whip. Okay, here. Sure, I'll take you to a good place. Eh, eh, eh. Hey, man! You ever heard of sticks? Is there a band called Sticks? Oh, that's the river of death. And if I jump off here... Okay, he's back. And now... Ooh! Gotta make sure I don't have the heart. Okay, now he takes me to the other side. And it looks completely identical to the other side. To that other... To that other, uh... Beach that I was talking about. But... Uh... But once you go uh, far enough left, uh, you do end up actually in a town. So yay for me. Oh wait, this is a town I, where I need to exchange the crystals so I can't leave yet. Ah shit, actually this... Mm. I thought... Yeah, I thought that being night nighttime would be such a bad thing after all, but apparently it is. Ugh, okay. Grinding with more zombies. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is up with the zombie spawning. Like, sometimes they just show up. So sometimes you can walk all the way over town. All the way around town. They don't show up. And then three show up from nowhere. Like, what the fuck? Seriously. Give me them hearts, baby. Seventy. Oh, I'm so close, I can taste it! So I mentioned before about the uh, Castlevania movie that never came to be. And I mentioned also that uh, Paul W. Anderson was only uh, supposed to be the producer, so he wasn't going to direct it. I think he, he could do a good job with that. Like, he has a really good visual eye. And I think these games are as much about the visuals and music and aesthetic as they are about... Because really, they're just like, you know... Wanted to, uh, we wanted to make a horror platformer... I kind of wonder where did they get the idea for the whip? Uh, like, of course, the obvious thing that comes to mind is Indiana Jones, but Indiana Jones doesn't like beat down on zombies and vampires. Uh, he beats down on evil cultists and Nazis. Also, Russians. I'm actually do. I am kind of looking forward to um, Indiana Jones Five which they've, of course, announced. But I'm kind of sad that George Lucas decided that he wasn't going to do... he wasn't going to be involved in the story... Uh, in the story development. Like, they could have at least consulted him. Like, you know, they didn't use his ideas when they made Force Awakens and fine, you know, whatever. Uh, I, you know, to each their own. But, you know, you could have at least asked. You know. Gotta ask somebody. Okay, gotta wait. Okay, I think he spawned. Yeah, there he is.
Because, you know, that's the thing, like... I, you know, I didn't think the plot setup for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was even that bad. They could have done, you know... They could have maybe done a little slightly better job with the execution, but, you know... Oh yeah, these are the ones that I was talking about. They're not bad here. Or maybe these aren't the ones I'm thinking of. And here's my old nemesis, the Bone Dragon. Yeah, not so tough now, are you? <laughs> yeah, I can... <laughs> I was having so much trouble with the bow dragons. Actually, I'm happy I waited until it was daytime because these guys are uh, really annoying. I don't know what the hell those guys are. As a kid, for some reason, I always imagined that they were guys in, like, motorcycle helmets, but I think they're supposed to be, like, bugmen, possibly. Oh, man, I'm so close to... Oh, no, this is the... Yeah, this is... This is my nightmare. Blob Town. Oh god, yeah, I hate these things. Only one life left. Oh man, I gotta get to that town. Run like the whip that don't look back! Yes, okay, now I gotta find that guy who has the whip. I don't actually know where he is because last time I was playing, like like I said uh, earlier, I didn't actually go talk to him. Okay, it's, is it here? It's, it's gonna be... Oh, two layers of secrets. Twice the fun. Uh, no. I do think I need to buy those in... I think I need to buy those if eventually if I do get to Dragos Castle. Like I said, I haven't decided yet if I can... If I can actually even play through the, to the end. The weird thing is, I think I have gone to Camilla's castle before. Or Cam Camilla's uh, mansion before. I think one of these mansions, I read somewhere, I didn't, uh, mansions, I mean one of these towns, uh, when, when you go talk to the people, like, some of them have, like, a lot of sass, so they're really, like, annoyed with you for some, for having defeated Dracula, because I think, they're, they're, oh yeah, there's one town that's been completely destroyed by Dracula, and they're pissed about it. Oh, Jesus, where is that? It's gonna be nighttime soon. <laughs> A whole bunch of nothing up here. Keep fucking kidding me. Oh god, no, oof. Yeah, you gotta be real careful with that. There isn't a door up there. There's like, bunch, really a bunch of nothing in this town. Okay, are you, is this the place? Are you the guy? Hey, you the guy? Please let this be the guy. I forget. Oh, Morningstar. That's the thing. That, so, it's not technically a whip. Please tell me it's the Morningstar. Yes! What? Oh, no. I don't have enough money for it. Shit! Oh, man. That was a big oversight on my part. Oh, crap. And it's going to be nighttime soon, isn't it? I was so worried trying to get away from the blobs that I didn't think... Uh, uh, that fucking bites. Please don't let there be water. Please don't let there be water. Oof. Well, there was, but luckily I was safe. I don't know what the hell these things are supposed to be. Maybe they're ghosts. Oh, come on, give me some hearts, man. I only need I only need a little bit more. Jesus. Okay, two ghosts for the price of one. Okay, just a little bit more. Come on, give me that money. No! <laughs> now it's night time. Shit. Uh, now these guys are harder to kill. God damn it. Come on, mommy. 
Oh, I got an extra life. Good. My uh, energy heal. Energy healed. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I'm uh, just gonna go up here and wait till, until it's daytime, I guess. Fuck me sideways. I thought I totally had that. This is like the most... Okay, this is the most tedious part of the game, is when you have what you need, but you can't go buy a fucking morning star because it's nighttime. But it'll be interesting to see just how far I can get now if I get the morning star. Because like I said, I've been to Camilla's... Not Camilla's castle, the castle before... I think it's the Bodley Mansion. They all have like weird names. Oh yeah, there's like the old lady who says like, look into the Death Star. I think it's supposed to... Maybe it doesn't mean anything. Maybe it's maybe it's just another one of those. There, there, there is a, like a thing with these games and with Konami in the '80s. They were apparently they had a bit of a habit of just like translating shit incorrectly just for the hell of it, which is weird. Like you would never ever do that these days. It was a different time. By the way, there's a little bit of a platforming section once we get past all those mummies and things. Uh, where, um, oh yeah, and if we had gone more to the left of that other mansion, there's like a guy who sells diamonds, uh, like a diamond weapon, and I could not figure out what the hell that thing is for. Like, it's just, it's just a diamond that bounces around and it does damage to enemies, but it seems to do just as much damage as the holy water, so it seems like really pointless. That's the other reason why I didn't want to buy the dagger earlier, because it, it's, it's completely pointless, like, you know, this isn't, like, great, but I can manage this, and I know the arc of its attack and everything. Oh, the door! <laughs> yeah. I suppose it deactivates the uh, holy water while, when you're standing in front of the door. Oh my god, this is exactly what I did not want to happen during the recording, that I'd be stuck sitting here in front of the fucking house doing absolutely fucking nothing because it's nighttime and I can't do anything. Come on! Come on! Do it! Do it now! So anyway, if they were gonna make a Castlevania movie, actually, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to say, like, where in the Castlevania, because Castlevania is such a big series, like, I know everybody knows of Simon Belmont. Oh, thank God, it's daytime. Okay. Everybody knows Simon Belmont. I don't think Simon would necessarily make, or Simon's story is, like, the most straightforward. Like, that's the way, why, how I feel like if they ever made a Zelda movie, like, you couldn't just make it out of the first Zelda, because the first Zelda is literally, save the princess, get a, a magical, magic triangle. <clears throat> that's the story of the first Zelda game. So, I'd be tempted to say, like, something like Symphony of the Night, something like Akumacho Dracula X Rondo of Blood, you know, one of those games, w could make an interesting Castlevania movie. And Castlevania 3 would also make an interesting one. I just don't... I, I, one thing that came to mind... It, this would be so funny. If, if just like as a big fuck you to Konami, they made a Castlevania movie that actually did have Sonya Belmont as the main character. <laughs> By the way, so I, I said previously that I have never played Castlevania Legends. I, of course, know about it. And I do like the... Um, the art style, they went with a kind of very anime style, because there's been lots of different art styles that would... Oh, by the way, let's listen to some Bloody Tears. Here it is, here's the platforming bit. Okay, and there's... There's not... No... Oh, you should not overthink this thing, like, all you have to do is jump just before the apex of the uh, the platform. That's all you have to do. Okay, and now it's time to take a ride in my beautiful hurricane. And this actually, I think this takes us straight to the front of the mansion. And th I think this is the Trixie Dixie Mansion. Yes, this is the Trixie Dixie Mansion. So, how much money do we have? Not a lot. Oh yeah, so this is where I was noting, yeah, 
Like these baddies, they're so bad already that the Morning Star is barely, like, you know, it's killing them, but I have to hit them four times, uh, two times. I, had to, I think I have to hit them four, three to four times with the chain whip. So, um, so yeah, this is, this is why I got stuck. And there is a, no, this isn't the dupe hole. There was a the dupe hole, like the blob fell through it. But it's funny because they can phase through... Oh, yeah. I just pointed it out and I forgot already. <laughs> so, there's a dupe, so there's a dupe floor there. So you don't necessarily need this. But it helps. I don't know what's over there and I'm, I'm afraid to go, go check it out because I just want to get to the... Uh, the forge's end. So once you get past this point... Uh, you hit, like, a section of the game. Yeah, no, that's not a dupe floor. But this is a dupe wall. Aha! Yeah, the, the holy water is completely useless now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Th this is the... No, no, this isn't it. Oh, God. Well, I still got plenty of lives. Oh wait, did I go the wrong way around? Mm, no, I don't think I did. Yeah, this this castle's a little bit confusing. This this one's kind of. Oh no, it's it's right below me. It's right below me. Okay, that's where I need to go. Okay, yeah, actually that was good. Good, great. Oh yeah, here it is. And, and the orb is right below me, so this is actually the easiest fucking dungeon in the whole game. Nice brown cloak, man. <laughs> and I got the stake. I keep forgetting, yeah, I should really pay more attention to my money because I, I got stuck that one time. Oh, okay, I need to go this way. I'm one level too high. And this guy keeps going all the way. I'll, I'll get the hearts. I don't... Well, I do need to buy the garlic and laurels at some point. I'll see if I can get to that final mansion. And then, and then I think I'm gonna end it for this session. Uh, and here we go. Use the steak. And now I have Dracula's Nail. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know why Nail. By the way, uh... I suppose uh, the He-Man... Top 10 Weird He-Man Powers uh, video has already come out while this is coming out. Uh, way out. Nope. Uh, so I've been in a little bit of a He-Man and She-Ra kick, so I've been doing a lot of those reviews. But uh, in case people are wondering, yes, I do plan to bring back the uh, B&W reviews at some point as well. I, ha I have a whole bunch of them lined up. I just gotta get around to making more of them. But there was a while. There was a bit of a long while when I was doing when I was not doing a lot of He-Man stuff on the channel. So that's why uh, I've now kind of relished in the uh, relished, yeah, maybe relished in the chance to do more more of that stuff. Okay, and left we go. Left we go. There, this should take us. There's the. Oh yeah, there's a lake here. So we have to do this again. And. Wait a minute. Yup. By the way, take a while fucking guess what happened the first time I came on the screen. <laughs> I walked straight into the water. Oh yeah, this is way better. 
Okay, you do need the holy water for that. Okay, here come the skulls. Oh shit. This, this is still gonna be pretty bad, like, when, when it gets nighttime. Ooh, I wonder how I get down there. There we go. What does this guy do? I'll give you your morning star power to burn away evil. Oh, shit! Oh! So he uh, powered up my whip even more. Okay, I read about this guy. I thought he was in a completely different part of the map, though, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, I got the flame whip now. <laughs> Oh yeah, watch out, you motherfuckers! Man, I got the power! <laughs> got the power! Nintendo power! No, we didn't have Nintendo power, actually. God damn this guy. More platforms. This guy's a bit creepy. Oh! There was this. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna make it all the way to the end. Does the rip protect me, or is... It seems like I'm walking way faster than I used to through this gunk. Oh, what a horrible night to have a curse. No shit, I'm in the middle of a swamp. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't. I forgot. I just said, like, that's pointless and I shouldn't do it, and I did it anyway. Okay, I made it to the end. Here it is, the final mansion. I'm almost dead. Wow, these are really powerful skeletons. Okay. Uh, I have a vague memory of having played this dungeon, but I might be completely wrong, and I'm, maybe I'm not. Maybe I haven't. But this is where you face off against Camilla, who's the crazy, uh, the, the evil mask lady. And in later Castlevanias, the same thing as with the Medusa. Same, the same as with the Medusa in... Uh, the other later is that uh, um, Camilla went from being just a head, uh, or I guess it's supposed to be a mask, into being an actual boss in the later games. I'm still okay. Okay. I don't know if there's juke. Juked. Is the game's gonna juke me? Goddamn skeletons. Although I do I like the, I do like the skeletons actually. Weirdly, like Yeah. I always associate skeletons with Castlevania as like being a traditional Castlevania enemy. Okay, am I going the wrong way? Doesn't seem to be anything here. Yeah, I probably should have waited a little while. He's not turning around, so that's not a juke floor. Ooh, but there might be a juke something. Nope. OK. 
okay? Oh yeah, sorry, I'm really quiet now because I genuinely don't know this castle very well, so I'm kind of focusing hard to not do something stupid. Okay, that's safe. That's safe. Oof! Are you... Oh yeah, that, that thing does nothing. Yeah, this is now this is now got a little bit more intense because I don't even know where the guy who sells the steak is. He might be down here. He might not. So I might be going the wrong way. Ooh, spiders! Oh no, not spiders. And they're powerful spiders too. Shit. Okay, I can't get there. Oof. Okay, kill them. Yeah, no, I can't break the wall either. Okay, this I think might be where I will end it. Uh, if I can't figure out what to do in this in this mansion. Uh, uh. Oh no, I did find him. Good. Oh. Oh shit, oh. Great. Platforming. I do like platforming. I love platformers. Platformers are my favorite type of game. But this game, with this game, it's a little, it's a little tricky. Oh shit, I think I went the wrong way. So I wonder what the laurels do. Because I know there's like a part in the game where you have to drop something and uh, one of those like cloak guys just shows up. I think that happens like, like really, really at the end. Oh no, I can't die yet. Oh, I don't have to stay. Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, this, this, this got a whole lot more scary now because I have to be careful not to kill myself. Well, that's generally good policy in most video games anyway, but because because if because I'm not gonna start grinding in this castle if I if I can oh there he is thank God okay oak steak you got it now I just gotta find that Camilla <laughs> I feel like I'm talking about that the 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 guy who's married to you know Prince Charles. Weird. Oh no, oh no, did I did I do a bad? Did I do a bad? Was I not supposed to come here? I think the only this only takes me down. Oh no, this this doesn't maybe this wasn't bad. Oh god. Oh you fuck face. Well, I got the stake now, so it's okay, even if I die. Oh no, I did go all the way around. Shit, where is that? Ugh. What is sh where, where, where is it? Dang. Wait, was it actually over here and I... Ooh, okay. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's the funny thing. It's always like continues it always continues me from um, the last time I touched terra firma. So it's like somewhere like here. Oh it is! It is Yeah, there's Camilla. And she like drops like Yeah, those tears. Well, don't you cry for me, Camilla. Because I got all the body parts. I now possess Dracula's ring, and I think I will end it there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I don't know, maybe we'll finish this. I, I've never played, I've never finished this game, so. Gotta see about that. Okay, talk, so talk to you guys later. Bye!